Right, it's Saturday the 25th of January. I just popped the recording to some bits and bobs. Uh, the first job I want to do is I've got some gladioli from the, the pound shop. There they are there. Uh, I'm just going to put them in a single little pot, just a little experiment. I've got a lot more what I got from Wilkinson's, which I'll be putting in the round about the pot of time. Uh, but like I said, this is just a little experiment to see what comes from them. So I'm going to be doing that. Also, I'm going to be going to the little greenhouse and sorting out the wind damage uh, where it's ripped a bit of the plastic. So I'm just going to put some perspex over the top of it. And then I'm going to go and sort out the uh, raspberry bush. Uh, it has had horse muck on it for the past few months. Uh, so I'm going to hide some uh, pot ash on it now and uh, let that soak in and that's where we'll get some more feed so yeah i'm going to plan with that and what i do is i hide some videos on uh, of what i'm doing okay so this is the raspberry brush uh, i did have it staked up because it's two different kinds apparently uh, whether fruit in the autumn or fruit in the summer something like that one you keep staked up one you cut right back uh, i spoke to a couple of lads on the plot there uh, they said just chop it back like i said it's had some horse muck for a few months for it uh, so it's had a nice soak in now i'm going to put some pot ash on it okay so all this is is a bit of sulfate the pot ash that's all it is and i'm just going to just sprinkle it all over it yeah and then what i do is i soak that in okay so just give it a little drink Just like that, that's all I'm going to do. Right, so the plan is to take some muck out of there, put it into there to mix with the multi purpose compost. So that's the plan. So I'm going to take some out of there, sieve it, and hide it in that bucket there. So. Like I see, this stuff has had seaweed in it, everything. You name it, it's beautiful. Look at that. Look at that. Beautiful. So yeah, I do that, I sieve it down, I'll show you what it's like once it's in. That's a mix there. It's got perlite in, multi-purpose compost, and my own compost. Which has had seaweed, horse manure on it, everything. So I'm going to put these into this pot here. Oh, I got one out. Just stand it in there. Oh, fella. Grab a fold. Push it in. There we go. So I'm going to repeat that process ten times. Okay. So as you can see, that's the gladioli is done. Just put in these pots. Uh, see what happens to them. Like I said, I just got them from the pound shop. Oh, there we go. And these are the peas. What we dad bought up. So I've got a couple of trays there. Uh, he's going to do some more and all. So yeah, happy with all that. So then, we're in a little greenhouse. So that's where it was ripped. So all I've gone and done is, is put a bit of perspex on the front of it. So yeah, so I'm happy with that, I'll sort that out. So yeah, so that's me done. Uh, we dad's uh, planning on doing some bits and bobs. And uh, I'm going to go back home now. I'll be back down tomorrow. It's Sunday the 26th of January. I just popped out to the garden. Uh, what I've done is I brought my seeds and that down. Uh, so I'm going to go for my seeds and then I'm going to go and have a look outside and that and plan where they're going and stuff like that and uh, work out what I need and stuff. Okay, so what I do is I'm going to have a little walk around, uh, do some recording and that, see what's going where and stuff like that. Then I'll come back and I'm going to go for the seeds, okay? So then this is the top honey tunnel. So in here, like I say, the tomatoes are going into here so i need to just get the canes up and everything sorted in here 
like I say, tomatoes are going to be going into here. So this is going to be all for tomatoes. Just need to get the canes up and stuff like that any uh, other time. So yeah, I'm happy with that. Okay. Uh, Dad's managed to fix this compost heap. Uh, it all collapsed. He's put a brand new air door on it, a uh, fire door, so that should last a while. So yeah, we'll just put all the stuff into there and we'll sit through when we need it. Because like I say, this garden, when I got it, was quite a mess. So all this was full now. I think we managed to sit through all this and put it into the raised beds down at the bottom. It was good stuff in there. So we're going to do the same here. Maybe we'll see what happens. But we'll have to sort it out because like I said, it had all collapsed. Okay. So in this section here, yeah, we're going to pile a few onions in there. That's the plan anyway, see what it'll turn out like. Because uh, I have got onions over there, but they're waterlogged. They keep on getting waterlogged over there, so it's not good, not good drainage and that. So I think something like this, raised bed or something like that, would be better. So we're going to give it a shot. So it's like these strawberries here, yeah, we're going to sort it all out and that clean it all out uh, got some good strawberries off them last year uh, the only problem was is, is that a lot of them got tapped by slugs and stuff so I took a lot of runners which I'll show you soon uh, took a lot of runners and they're, they're coming on fantastic so in here I'm going to put my squashes in here so I'm going to be putting the bottom of squash in here hopefully And I'm going to put some pumpkin in here. I grew one bottle of squash last year. And uh, it was only little. But uh, it was lovely. So I, I, want, I want to grow some more. So that's the plan. And pumpkins I want to try. For Halloween for the kids. Uh, got this. I'm going to fill up with compost. I don't know what to do yet. I don't know if I put, should put my strawberry runners in here. What I got. Or put them in the baskets. Or put some uh, herbs or something in here. Fill it up. So I'm in two mains, don't know what I'm going to do yet, but we'll see. Like I say, all this here is going to be with flowers. With delias, I've got some delias in that. Not special, but I had a couple of growing in here last year and they were lovely. Uh, I have got a load of spring bulbs along there, tulips, daffodils, loads of different stuff. We'll just pop them in. Uh, like I say, the rose bush here. Uh, these are where we brassicas are going to grow, we cabbages and stuff like that, turnips, etc. That's going to get transferred from there over to here because I had them in there last year. <clears throat> but I had a lot of problems with them, with the uh, club root, I believe. I'm going to put the sweet corn, I'm going to put some leeks there because I had the leeks over there last year. I will be putting some runner beans or French beans or your peas along there or up that there. I strung it off. There. And yeah, like I say, it's with garlic, onions, but it's it's the drainage is not very good. So let's we'll see what happens. And here, I've got the potatoes are going to go. So I've got three different varieties. I have got the early rockets. I've got the Charlotte, the Desrays. So I'm talking about putting about two or three rows of each one. Uh, it has had a good muck and a good feed, all this. Uh, so yeah, we'll see what comes of that. So this is like the fruit section, we've got a little pear shrub, uh, we've got a blueberry bush, gooseberry, the raspberry, and this is a little uh, apple tree or shrub, uh, golden delicious, uh, that's just been planted recently, so see what happens to that for a couple of years. What happens in here? Get the shelving sorted, put some peppers in here. Peppers or chilies, 
I think I say at the back there, grow bag at the bottom. I'm gonna have all we cucumbers running up there because I did them last year in the pot and shed, and I put them on the mesh up on the window and the crown up, and I got a good crop. So that's why I thought of the idea of this. So I'll be doing that. These are the raised beds what we built. They're filling up nicely. Had everything in there. So these are going to be for carrots. And also salad stuff, lettuces and etc. Give it a shot, see what happens. And then this is the melon house, which I need to sort out. The melon's going to go in there and I'm going to try and train them up with some mesh or somehow. That's the plan anyway, it's all experiment. So yeah, so what I'll do is I'm going to go back in the shed now and go through the seeds. Right before I do that, I'll show you these strawberry runners. So I got around about eight of these off here. And these are coming on lush. Well happy with them. And then I managed to get some more. So I'm thinking about putting these in the hanging baskets and putting them around the garden. So yeah, absolutely happy with them. So I should get some nice fruit. But then for all the runners from the plant up there, the mother plant. And what uh, the fruit one, they were massive. I couldn't tell you what kind they were, but they were massive. So yeah, I'm gonna go in the shed now. Right, so then what we'll do is we'll go through the seeds now. So I've got different kinds of cabbages. Uh, the January King Free. I want to get some Savoy. Uh, I've got some broccoli. Got some uh, Brussels sprouts. I've got different sorts of turnips. I've got a Swede. I've got your snowball, your purple. I have got the bottom of squash what's going up at the top there with the pumpkins, Jack will lighten, Big Macs. Uh, I have got the melons and the watermelon F1. I have got cucumber, the diva, uh, crystal apple. Like I say, I grew these last year, fantastic crop. Never ever tried these, like I say. Uh, so I'm gonna give them a shot. Uh, different sorts of peppers. I have got chilies and stuff like that. What I need to do with sweet corn, uh, the swift and the incredible, the beans. I got some Alsa Craigs. I got some yellow pear, tomatoes, the bloody butcher. So yeah. Uh, also, I got some. Potato seeds, which I'll show you now. So these are from Wilkinson's. First earlies. See what comes in. Then. I'm going to zoom in. There, uh, rocket, first early seeds. So I'm just letting these sit there and chit away. Uh, hopefully, they'll be alright. So I'm planning on, planning, because I don't know, like I said, I knew of it. End of February, putting them in the ground. Uh, got the sweet peas, got some more of them, I'm going to set off soon. These are your eating peas, the dwarf size ones, we're going to do another batch of these, uh, them are the graddies like I've done yesterday, and also these tomatoes are looking okay-ish, I've got a load more at home, setting away, you know, see what happens to them, so yeah, so what I'm going to do now is I go through there the onions, they're looking okay. I go through the Delia tubers and see what I got, okay? Right, so these are we uh, Delia tubers and the uh, gladioli uh, bulbs. 
Yeah, just got from Wilkinson's. You got different ones here, the pom pom ones, mixed colours, your cactus, yeah, crazy love, little tiger, lucky number, like I see your gladdies. They're yeah, looking lovely. Also, if we look over here, I got one here. Now this grew in the garden when I built the greenhouse and it grew right next to it. So I around about November time when I cut it back and that, uh, I pulled it up, I let it dry out, so I let it dry out, so it dried out, and then I separated it as an experiment into three. So hopefully I haven't done no damage to it, because it's nice, it was, I couldn't tell you what kind it was, but it was a nice orange one. And I separated it into three. So we planned on all of these, is basically put them in pots, start them up in pots, and then transfer them outside. That's the plan, because I've done a couple last year and that's what I did, and, and they come up lovely. So that's what I'll be trying again this year. So yeah. So these are what's going to be going in. And then I'll be looking at all that stuff and all. So yeah, I'm happy with that. So then, I'm going to uh, sow these two peas. Giant waved mixed. Uh, just going to go into these half pint cups. Uh, it's got a little hole at the bottom. Uh, all I'm using, what you put with the compost, my own compost, a bit of sharp sand, a bit of perlite. So I'm going to do three. So I'm going to do three, three cups. So what I've got them done is I just give them a little bit of water in. Just wet the compost a bit. Here seeds up. It says on the back about 35 seeds you get. I'll probably put about five in each one. I'll only use about 15 of them. about six. Six in each one. And then I'll do a couple of more. So a couple of more next week. And all I'm going to do is just put a bit of compost on the top of them. Yeah. Like that. Let's just say like that.
So there we go, just like that. So I'll put them in the pot and shed and just let them sit there. So there we go, that'll do. Happy days. So there we go, there just sit there. Because like I say, I've got some here. So I will do more, I want to do loads more. Uh, once the weather starts warming up, I got a load more going. Because of our lovely had done them last year. So yeah. So yeah, that's me done for the day. I'm gonna get myself away, uh, get myself away up home. Okay.